Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting episode of the Eora Covenant. And I must say, last episode was pretty exciting for me, um, getting that huge bonus that we got to our um, unity. Um, we were able to um, get, you know, the habitability boost by 10%. We were able to get this um, unity output bonus to, uh, to, you know, once we built the federation. Um, but it was uh, it was nice um, to just you know a lot to, you know we've developed quite a lot. We we're colonizing this um, sorry not this one this one right here colonizing this planet. Um, we can actually colonize this tropical world now if we want to. Um, we have this planet colonized and um, he is what? That's weird. I thought I had a guy that was there building. Uh, um, Minerals, but I guess not. What's going on here? I, uh. Oh, I, 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 I pulled him away from what he was doing so that he could, um, build a, um, frontier outpost. Because we're going to, we're going to build a frontier outpost over here. I'm um, just so we can kind of just, like, just hold this territory. This is going to be our territory. Um, and um, fortunately, I mean, it cost us a nice amount of uh, influence. I'm not going to be using influence for quite some time because I have to build up. Um, hopefully, none of our scientists die anytime soon. Having said that, at least like what 81. Um, most of our most of our scientists can live another like nice chunk of years, but it is going to be a little pricey. Hopefully, we we don't lose too many people. Um, but we're, we're gonna have to recoup our, our influence, so we're not gonna be doing too much, um, ex too much, too much expansion at this point because we're really low on influence. But it was worth it <clears throat> because <clears throat> this system is gonna give us um, plus um, twenty to our engineering research, and also because of these, these the fact that these are this is a ring world. Once our sensors improve, and we're going to research some sensor tech, we might be able to actually research um, liquid metal. Because I believe some some um, some ring worlds actually have that as an option. Um, so uh, I look forward to seeing what else um, come becomes um, becomes available as we, um, we we go into the system and start to. Uh, research things but but that is a huge um, that is a huge boon right there that plus 20 I couldn't pass that up um, it's a little bit ways away from us and I wonder if um, that's building something like that is gonna um, pick up somebody's attention over that's in this region of space um, but I do know that we just we have to have that we have to build up on that and get all that um, it's gonna cost us um, like 0.5 influence a month to maintain that but again it's one of those things where it's kind of worth it and I hope over time we're gonna have more spiritualist factions that will come up and that will give us um, an increase in our influence to sort of offset that but I just um, it's very important for us to get that research to get that engineering research I mean it's gonna it's definitely gonna boost this um, on this I mean we're getting a plus 63 percent um, and that's going to um, it's just gonna it's just gonna take this from being like 54 months to being almost half. It's gonna half um, a lot of our research costs, um, at least these research time. Um, and plus, in addition to that, I'm also going to be um, talking to the curators. They're gonna give us a plus 15 percent to our research. Um, um, not not the research speed like the other other benefits do, but this is going to just give us an increase to the amount of research um, credits that we bring in by 15%. So um, that's going to be a bonus. I've also realized that what I'm going to do is um, once I finish this last um, in 62 months, once I finish this, uh, the side of as far as ascension perks, um, I think I'm just going to go with the uh, mastery of nature, only because we have these um, these um, tile blockers um, and they've really been impair um, impairing our ability to um, to colonize these worlds efficiently um, look at this I mean look at this uh, not Yora but Faith um, this planet I mean what look at this I mean we've got six blockers here we've got these here we've got these here this is gonna we just have, we just have like have more than half of this planet we don't have access to because of the fact that we have these tile blockers. 
And, um, and same thing with, uh, well not same thing, but close, so we've got these here, this block in us, so, um, you know, there's, there's a lot that we can do with these planets and other planets we plan on colonizing if we don't have those tile blockers away. And so we'll never have to worry about tile blockers again if we go through this um, ascension, ascension perk. Now it's very possible that I might, in the future, hopefully maybe before we get this, we'll get some research and we won't have to worry about this. If I, if I can get the um, tile blockers, options will come up again and I can start researching those. Um, and I'm, I'll have to sacrifice some, a few other things. Um, but if I can get those, then uh, I'm, I wouldn't actually sacrifice this because this is a rare thing. Um, these ascension perks are like kind of a once in a lifetime thing and it's not like I can like un go back and like... Um, I can't, like if I click this, I can't change it. So once, once you choose one, you're stuck with it. Um, so I, I do like the idea of um, being able to choose one of these other options. Naval capacity, I probably wouldn't go into that only because right now I don't really see that as being something that we'd be too interested in. Um, and plus over time as we start to research naval capacity improvements tech uh, research, we, we won't have to worry about that as an option. We just need to expand to the point where that's something that we really need. Um, but uh, I, I do think that it would be nice to... Um, well, there was one that I was looking into. Um, one vision. Um, that, that's about the unity of our people. Um, governing ethics, it's like the ethics divergence thing. The, the last, the Kuru Shell people, when I made that species, I'm just going to keep the, the time going here. Um, I forgot about that. I was on pause. Um, governing ethics attraction is um, w would increase, and that would in improve things for our um, building of influence. And just, and just, so as we stretch out our, as we as we expand our territory, and the further you get away from our, our capital. Our, our, our empire, the um, the harder it will be for people to stick to our ethics. Um, so I am I'm kind of interested in going this route, but um, a premise aside, I'm not going to do the consecrated worlds thing. But there they're just um, there are just some things that you could do. Like for instance, imperial prerogative. I could increase our core system, core sector systems by five. Um, that doesn't seem so important, I suppose, because I could always just create sectors, and eventually I'll do that. But um, yeah, I just feel, yeah, uh, I either want to go one vision, or um, maybe even Galactic, uh, Defender of the Galaxy sounds great right now, because um, I'm not sure what we're going to come up against um, when the um, end game crisis comes, and um, when the end game crisis comes, I would very much like to be able to um, have some sort of um, something in our back pocket, like damage increases, um, so that we're like we're we're not going to be overwhelmed System by them. Since we're not going to be a war-based culture, uh, we are going to need something, um, some sort of advantage that the other people don't have. We're definitely going to need to be able to uh, defend ourselves. Um, but anyway. Now I'm just gonna start building up the sea resilience. What is that? Construction oh yeah, those complete. are the, uh, the torpedo ones. Um, resilience, really? Oh, that can't be it. Ship design, resilience. Oh no, those are those. Okay, that's see why that's. Yeah. Average damage. Average damage on this seems really low because they're disruptors. Um, but they actually do a great deal of damage um, because they're plus 200% of shield damage. Um, that's just overall damage, doesn't include bonuses. Um, so if I were to create a fleet of resilient ships, um, they actually do have an impact um, on, on, on when you're going against um, ships with shields. Um, on Earth, I think that one's the one that's the uh, that one's the one that has the um, the, the torpedoes. So that's, that's why it's got a nice bonus of 12 damage, um, even though it's slower tank, slower damage. Um, but I'm um, kind of forgetting what some of these ships do, but um, I know that um, they're coming back. Let's see. Freedom, freedom, freedom. Um, how many freedoms do we have? We have 10 freedoms. And if I'm right, the freedoms are all the... Um, they survived. The Plasma Thora one survived. I find that fascinating 
that I made, I think I made 10 of them, honestly. And all of them survive, but the other ships didn't survive. So you gotta figure out why. Let's see, this is 90 shields. Um, Dignity has 90 shields. And um, Honor has 90 shields. I don't know, uh, maybe they just went, maybe they were just ahead of the pack. Um, but that's, it's kind of funny. That they, um, ignore it's 50% of armor. 15% of armor, okay. Um, Alright, minus 20% of shield damage, not a big deal for that. Um, but, um, I might just build a bunch more freedom classes. Um, I thought I had plasma accelerators, so maybe I didn't research that. I was going to, but I didn't. Um, but I do want to. It's funny that I'm researching the, the disruptor ones more than I'm disrupting, researching the plasma thrower ones. Even though the plasma ones, I want to use more than disruptor ones. But maybe um, we're going to come across uh, an enemy that's very shield focused, and then I'll actually be glad that I made that went that route. But this is kind of it's kind of a strange route that I've taken out of my usual. Um, gameplay. Um, uh, but anyway, uh, let's just keep moving on with this. Um, I just realized that I didn't start my timer Special yet. Unfortunately, I wasn't too far into this before I, um... Let's see. The tar block secured. Um, not too gonna be too, get too into that, um, but two, plus 250 to our society research, which works for me because that drops that down to 11 months. Um, and once he, re once he reaches the second one, it's going to reduce it even more. Um, anomaly found. Research that anomaly. Um, ooh, we have another planet over here we can um, colonize the drop continental world with uh, pre sentient life on there. We actually saw uplift option. Um, what well, we didn't take it, um, but we could always uplift them into a sentient species. Um, that would be kind of nice to uplift them, but they have to be in our space, I think. They, they kind of, they, they, once you, if you uplift, uplift the species, they fall in love with you. They love you because you, you pretty much, you were part of their, you, you evolved them as a people, as a, um, Tundra World. Um, the next system I plan on taking control of is going to be this system right here. Um, because there are three planets on that, in that system that I can, um, that I can colonize. Um, 15 and 15 and 11. Now that's not so great. Not not looks like not big planets, but being able to control three planets in one system um, is very nice because um, it's almost it's um well you, you there's some things that don't work for you. Like for instance, it costs more to colonize more planets. So it's nice when you have one planet that's 25 versus three planets that are like 12, 15, and 11. Um, but at the same time, it's 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 nice when you have three planets in one system because you do you do get more squares, um, and um, it's better than having one planet in one system. Um, boop. And this one is plus for you, so I can actually colonize that tropical world if I want to, but I'm not going to just yet. Now that it's in my space, um, I really want to get the terraforming tank, um, ter terrestrial sculpting. Once I get that, I can start to. Uh, I really want to turn this into, um, <gasps> they've acidalized that one, okay, it's not bad, um, construction complete. Who I'm does trying to get this federation thing with these guys, I mean, they like us, they're at plus 119. So we have like negative 33. So I'm trying to figure out how I can increase their opinion of us. Because right now we're cordial. I want them to be friendly with us. Um, I, we, seem, we seem to be capped out at um, 75. I want to form a defense pack, but they're not going with that too because they, the number of defense packs is already pretty high. Um, I'm not sure what to do about that. But I know that we want them to be in our federation, so... I've got to find some way of um, improving their opinion of us. Um, and one thing that will, that will make a difference is if we actually increase our fleet power. So, um, 
that's what we're doing right now is just um, creating more ships and even though they didn't last as well as the other ones did I do want to create um, more um, what's that dignity class ships Though they're cheaper to make and they do um, a great deal of damage. See, this is this is like a damage is 7.19 um, for the freedom. It's only 6.44. Even though uh, when you take into the account that they um, ignore armor, um, they're much more advantageous. Um, they, they ignore armor a lot more than, um, but they just they don't fire as frequently. I'm just going to show you. Um, this is. Uh, this is, um, ignores 60% of armor, this ignores 15% of armor. So damage wise, you're going to get a lot more out of this one than you will out of this one. Um, so, but I still want to, I still like lasers are, are really nice to have. Um, all right, we've lost a governor. Um, as much as I want to replace that governor, at this moment, I cannot. I'm sorry. Although it doesn't impact their happiness too much, but they're like 70% happiness. Um, even with their governor dead. Um, in fact, his death might have made them happier. Um, no, 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 no. What's, what is this? What's, um, happiness? What is causing him to be not as happy? Oh! I see. The factions. Because these guys are in this faction, um, the faction makes them happy. Gotcha. Faction happiness. So because the faction's happy, his happy, he's happy. Oh, this is nice to know. This is really nice to know. Um... And the happiness is giving us a nice boost to, uh, to some things. What is this happiness? Not so much. Um, I almost want to... Well, that's actually... I almost want to put them in here. That gives them a 10. Haha, -ha, that's nice, actually. I, so i got to keep the people that are happiest um, closest. Uh, in fact, see, do I get a bonus to, un to unity? Because of happiness? I do. That's nice. That is really, really nice. And he's happy too. Um, he's, he's migrating in three months of patience. How dare you migrate? Um, so this gonna, we're gonna lose five unity right there. I gotta put someone, um, I gotta put you right here. Um, and you right here. And upgrade this. So we're gonna lose some, some energy. But on the bright side, what is him? I see. All right. I'm gonna send that guy from Patience over. Mm -hmm. He'll he'll run this temple. That'll give us more unity. Uh, the more unity, the better. Um, so that's that's fine. I'll send that guy over there. Um, from one temple that he worked to another. And all look at all the stuff that I can upgrade now. I have a lot of, that I can upgrade that I should upgrade because of this new uh, planetary building. Wow, I still, I can't believe I had to pause again. I hate when I do that by mistake. Um, let's see, we've got this here, so we're going to build a farm. Um, well, well, before I do that, I'm just going to get this started. So, um, freedom, freedom. So it's uh, 6.4, dignity. I shall build five more of these. One, two, three, four, five. The dignity. One, two, three, four, five. And then. So that's ten more um, Corvettes. And then I'm going to build some more destroyers. Um, but first, before I build more destroyers, I should build this destroyer assembly yards. That way, it costs me less to build the rest of those destroyers. Um, think smart, right? Rest minus 20%. Nice to have that governor there. Um, I can't... Um, oh, they're at minus 10 for food, but I guess I, um, I don't need food on that planet. And this guy's about to leave in one month to... Do, 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 do. Oh, I'll see, look at that. Boom. Negative to that. But we're gonna get a pop show up right. Come on, come on, new pop, new pop, new pop. Come on, you wanna populate? I guess in a month he'll probably we'll have a new pop that'll show up right there and start to uh, develop. In the meantime, let's keep 
building ships. Oh, okay, well actually we don't have a Corvette yard over here. I'm also gonna spend some time, uh, we really need more minerals uh, so that we can build up on our, um, our, uh, our spaceports. So we don't have enough spaceports right now. I'm gonna build a, uh, oops, what am I building? I'm gonna build a mine right there. And I'm gonna move this guy right here because we need more minerals. And that's gonna have that nice adjacency bonus right there. I can't wait to get rid of all these tile blockers, especially these. The the massive glacier ones are, are like there's we have so many of those because of the Arctic world thing. Um, and maybe in a month, end of this month, we'll special see. Project complete. Oh, special project, great. Boom, that gives us the necessary um, society research for that. Wow. Stored. Okay. Now let's look over here. Research complete. Where's our uh Oh he's still way over here. Okay, he's almost there. Taking this guy forever to get there. Um symbol of unity or Oops. Oh, I think the symbol of unity isn't going to be so helpful. I mean, it gives us a plus 5% to happiness um, and 2 unity, but the um, the other temples are going to give us much more. And the symbol of unity um, it's pretty much just unity. I mean, it's, it gives us unity, but it's happiness plus 5%. Is that really... I want to do that, but I don't, because um, here's why I'm not too excited about the symbol of unity. Um, it only gives me a plus 5% to happiness and you pretty much use the empty square you could use for something else and you're already getting a bonus to unity of two um, on all the other ones and the other ones can be upgraded the symbol of unity isn't as beneficial for me um, because I'm also going to build um, with the happiness bonus I'm not too excited about that one because I'm eventually going to go to the artist uh, enclave and I'm going to build a commission, a piece of artwork that's going to give us a plus 10% to happiness. So with the same square I could use for that, that um, unity, I can use for this piece of artwork that will give us 10% happiness, increase, sorry, blah, blah, increase the migration attraction, reduce xenophobia, um, and um, improve our opinion with these guys. And we'll eventually be able to have parades. Um, so I'm not really going to care about the symbol of unity. I'm going to go with the habitability um, for the sake of um, making us, making planets more habitable for us. I kind of want to go symbol of unity, eh, the frontier clinic too, because that'll give us um, growth time, bonus, and food. But at the same time, habitability is really important. Um, I really want to go with those other two because we're going to get, because they cost a lot less, like nine months, um, but habitability is kind of important. It's a lot more important for me at this moment um, because just having habitability, I don't have to worry about growth. The habitability of plus 5% is equal to the um, growth time 5% um, because habitability impacts your growth time, so it's almost the same thing. Um, so this will be 45 instead of 40. Um, this will, and, you, and the thing is, you have to build, um, you have to actually build the other one. You have to actually build the uh, Frontier Clinic. This is just automatic, so it's just, it's just better off that way. Anyway, unfreeze that. What is this? Um, okay, so we've got you here. Oh, okay, you're the new guy. And he's, he's got a bonus of faction happiness plus immigrant status. Let's see. I want to increase his... Uh, wow. I want to increase unity. Um, but at the same time, I want to increase minerals. So I'm going to go to minerals. Um, so I'm just going to... Um, we need minerals, so I'll activate this. But we need that temple. We need that temple. So I'm just going to activate that. Yes. We're not unemployed. Oh, activate. There we go. 
Construction complete. But the activator goes at, uh, okay. Alright. So, it's gonna increase our, uh, unity. And it's also going to uh, improve our, uh, yeah. Ethics. It's kind of the high priesthood. Perfect guy to run our temple. Um, can I improve this temple? Yes, I will. Citadel of Um Okay, that was, that was maybe that was a little obnoxious. Maybe that I took we're not in control with that one, but um, Citadel of Faith. Okay, wow, this guy's gonna be um, migrating in eight months. Hopefully, in eight months, we'll have these guys. And so I'm just gonna plug him right there where that guy was. Um, man, I feel like I'm never gonna have this square <laughs> finished. <laughs> um, <laughs> but um, now I think, think this is gonna this. Um, let me see. It's upgrading to. This is gonna give us ten unity. So that's awesome. We already have ten unity. I'm um, right there, and then was, can I upgrade this? Uh, this yep, I'm gonna upgrade that one. Um, I'm just gonna keep uh, upgrading this uh, temple right here. Yep, I'm gonna, I'm gonna upgrade all my temples. Wow, I just spent all of my money, all my minerals. That's a shame. That's a shame. Cause I actually should have spent that on my um, I should have spent that on my mining stations, mining um, mining networks. But I spent that on the temples. But temples are most important. Um, more important than anything else. Temples. Um, He's almost there. I can build for you another farm. Farms give us unity too. So, no loss. Can't do much on this planet, but we can at least build farms. Let's see what else can we do. It's kind of sad. Um, I thought that these, I thought our space would connect more, but it's not. So we just have little pockets. Um, pocket here, pocket here, this pocket here, this pocket here. Um, oh, finally he made it. Hey, we're gonna have a, a little pocket here. Um, <laughs> it's uh, such a such a silly little thing there. Um, hopefully our space... We we'll just have to colonize this, these planets too. Um, we have five planets. How many planets do these guys have? How many? They have six colonies. These guys have um, seven colonies. Seems like they have more colonies than that, but maybe this just... Maybe it just looks like they have more colonies. Because they're green and we're green, that's what kind of throws me off, is the fact that it's hard for me to tell they're green from ours, but ours is just like a shade lighter than theirs. Um, but it's, it's, it's kind of hard to decipher between those two. I hate that those guys are green too. I wish I could kind of change our map. I wish I could change our, um, our color mid-game. Just gonna go like, you know what, we're just gonna invert our flag. Construction like, complete. Red, I mean, sorry, not really, like blue, and then green in the middle, or just just change the colors on the on the screen, um, so that our our looks. I can always go this route. Boom. Um, that actually makes it. Um, that's the diplomatic map mode, and but then they all look the same. But they like us. Everyone seems to like us. Not aggression pack. Not aggression pack. Not aggression pack. Um, so that's that's that there. Let's see opinions. Um, AI attitude. Um, cordial towards us. These guys are friendly towards us. Um, you know what I'm gonna do, actually? No, I can't do that. I wanna, I wanna... I have to wait. Because what I wanna do is, um... I really wanna build that federation. But once I do that, I lose my, um, non-aggression pack with them. With these guys. So once I lose that non-aggression pact with them, um, our trust is going to go down, and I won't ever be able to make the United Nations of Earth part of our uh, 
part of our federation, at least for a time being. At least for a time, I'm sorry. Um, let's see. We need to build our fleet. Oh, okay, well, we did, actually. Already had. Anomaly found. Boom. Okay, so how much did we have? We lost a integrity class. What is an integrity class? I forgot what integrity class is, anyway. There we go. This is, um... What is an integrity class? Okay, lasers. Just straight lasers. These guys are straight plasma. Okay. How far are we away from getting the um, face to drop it? Uh oh, we lost that scientist there. Uh oh. Um, now we have to replace that Tim, that guy. Um, a psychic! Research speed plus 10%, automatic yes. Automatic yes. Yeah. Survey speed plus 20 plus. I don't care about survey speed. Um, been that's really nice, that is very helpful. But I'm not going to be using him for that. Um, huh. I need more psychic scientists. Recruit. Yes, sir. So that gives us a uh, plus. Him being psychic gives us a plus 10%. Oh, I can't find. I can't wait to find a spark of genius psychic. One of one of that's a, that's a combination that we'll get a psychic genius because a, psych, a spark of genius gives you a plus 10%. Um, and then um, the psychic will give him plus 10%. And once he's level five, they give him another plus 10%. So he can, so you can have one scientist with like a plus 30% bonus of research speed. Um, it can it can it can stack um, really well. I wonder if these guys are willing to join the Federation. Um, defense Pact? Yes. How much would that cost us? Um, but again, no one wants to come join the Federation with us. Okay, they're at zero. All they need is a little bit better opinion of us. And they would be willing to join the Federation with us. Um, I'm just going to... Uh, AI Attitude, since... Sector's map mode, okay. Opinion of them is not so great. Between them and them. Okay. Situation log updated. But everyone likes us, so that's good. Oh, well, almost everyone. Even they don't like. Oh, well, they, they don't hate us. But construction complete. Only because they don't know us. They don't like. They don't. They don't like. Construction us. complete. So this is wonderful. Uh, but anyway, back to normal map. Um, scientist Incoming level four. transmission. Incoming transmission. Be positive. Okay. Active sensor link. Sure. Why not? That's nice. That's nice. We don't really... Yeah, that's, that's fine. I don't have a problem with Active Sensor Link. How far are you away from building that? Construction complete. 66%. Intriguing. An odd factory appears on the surface of Sincerity. What? A group of investigators have found a hidden factory on Sincerity. The architecture and the deterioration on it tells us tells of an old civilization, one that excelled at constructing things that stood the test of time. A population would easily be able to use the facility to add to the colony's production output. What? That is so neat. I'm gonna go there. That's that's pretty. That's pretty cool. That is intriguing. That is, um, that, that works. That's, that's something you don't see every day, just a random, um, I'm gonna put you right there. So it gives us three minerals. Um, it gives us, um, energy credits, plus three. And this guy is part of the economic development. And their happiness is up to 64. Oh, his faction happiness is... Oh, I gotcha. Plus, okay, 54. Um, hmm. Okay. Still trying to figure that out. But anyway. Um, let's see. What was I doing? Well, I was building fleet power, but we need minerals for that. The 
crew we assigned to work the old odd um, factory on sincerity has disappeared. We could send a new workforce to take their place, or we could raise the facility to the ground, making sure that this will not happen again. Oh my goodness! Oh no! Special project complete. That's terrible. We just lost our our pop. Ah! Oh. oh, that's terrible. I can't believe that. I hope they resurface. I hope this is just like some really weird, silly thing, but they resurface. Um, I can't believe we just lost somebody yeah. to a weird factory. Like, like they just disappear. Yeah. Like, that's that's kind of that's kind of strange. Um, I don't know what to say yeah. about that. Yeah. I um, I almost want to tear this thing down. That's just crazy. Because if I put some, I don't want to put someone else on that plant, on that in that factory, and risk losing that person too. But I also don't want to destroy it just yet. I don't know what to do. We'll wait a little bit. We'll wait and see. It's on resurfaces. Okay, we got that. Let's see. This is an engineering facility. Let's bump that up. Oops. This goes right here, because it's the side corpse, we need the side corpse. Complete. Anyway, now I can actually build a psionic army. I'm kind of curious how much of the Psy Warriors um, tech, because I, I, I researched Psy Warriors, but I never actually got Psy Warriors. I feel like there's some sort of glitch now, because I researched it, and I didn't get it. Am I ever going to get it? But I can't create a Psy army. And they do, let's see, uh, damage, uh, they do a lot more damage than the regular armies do, the assault army does, they do like more than one extra damage. Uh, they do a great deal of morale damage, so that's pretty amazing. Um, greater health, Anomaly found. greater morale, so it'll be cool having the psionic army. What is this? Oh, mm -hmm. Citadel of Faith. Look at that. 12.90. Oh, that is good. Mm -hmm. That is good. Ho Hollow Temple. Okay. So there's five. Okay. So I guess I got this because it was on, um, because it's on my, my, uh, mm -hmm. Empire Capital Complex. Mm -hmm. That is so cool. Uh, our unity is just cranking up there, isn't it? We're actually going to be able to get this thing in no time, right? Okay, I need 3,000. So this is going to be 11 months. 11 months we're going to be able to uh, close out... Um... Oh, I see. I didn't do this one yet. Oh. Federation level capacity counts for twice as much. Craft straight, okay. Oh, wonderful. Visitor center or this naval capacity is gonna be the last one. Towards Federation doesn't really help me too much because I don't have a Federation yet, apparently. Um, can't get one just quite yet. Um, let's see. So, five I can build five more um, Corvettes if I wanted to. Um, Incoming transmission. Energy credits. I'll pass. Well, I suppose the guys might like us better if we um, weren't denying them um, every time they ask for that. What are these? Materialists? Uh, authoritarians. So let's see, a trade offer, let's do, um, wait a minute, cancel, they're neutral to us, and they, would, uh, and they rival, oh, okay, they, never mind, they rival my, uh, my out of the earth, so, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna shake things up by making an agreement with them. Only cordial, man, this is really annoying. These guys are friendly. Invite to uh, 
intuition. War philosophy forbids wars of aggression. Minus 50%. My minus 50, so that's, uh, which we're probably not going to have a, a, a federation with those guys. Uh, oops, my bad. System survey complete. Hold on a second, did this guy die? Oh no. Why is my res why are we um not oh I see he's still working on those. He's almost finished. He's got three more to go. Then he'll be finished with that chain of research and hopefully before he passes. He's ninety three years old. Um I gotta get this guy something to do. So I'm gonna have him automatically explore. There we go. He can start to explore um all of this. Boldly go through all of this. And research what we've never researched before. Um, and now we have that. Um, construction ship. Build research stations. Oh, I am so excited. I am so, 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 so excited for him to get this. I should have, um, I forgot that he was over there just chilling. Um, I should have. I had to wait until that was finished first, of course. But now we have this, like, this orbital station way over here. Just like this really funny, like, out of our space mark. Um, we have to colonize another planet. I don't think I'm going to colonize this one. Um, how is this affecting our research? 25. So we're, we're not doing too bad, but um, having five planets has increased the cost of our research. Um, but we've got so many bonuses. I mean, all, half of the other bonuses have already faded. Um, so, um, Scientific Leap is probably going to fade once we're able to... Uh, once our leader dies, so it's going to be maybe like... It'll expire in 118 days. Oh wow, it, it, this expires at the end of the year. That's that good. That's not, that doesn't seem right. That it, that it wouldn't expire until the end of the election. Until the next election. Maybe this thing is off. This thing is off. Maybe it's thinking about something else. Um, anyway. It's good. I'm glad we had that leader. That leader was very beneficial for us research wise. Um, because I think, I think we're pretty much uh, more advanced than everybody else. Um, correction. I suppose we would be if we um, didn't have all these research um, agreements. Uh, but it's good for it's good for us. It's good for them. Um, you know, what's good for them is good for us, as long as we can actually make a federation with these guys. Man, this is really annoying. Minus 33. Relative power of empires. And opinion. Um, and distance. If I took... If I take this... Well, not system. Let's try that. Anomaly Which system I was going to take? This system, okay. Um, if I take this system, we'll be closer to them. And that might reduce our distance to them. So, I think I'll take that next. We've got a nice amount of um, influence built up here. Um, so, next plan is to... Building ruined. Whoa! The factory has exploded due to workers triggering some sort of self-destruct program. Luckily, no one was hurt before the old fact construct fell to the ground. We should be able to recover some of the production from the wreckage. So I'll recover the energy production. We get um, adds the following surface. Okay, let me just let me just look at this planet. <sighs> That's silly. So I can get a bonus to our uh, our our um, energy or a bonus to minerals. I can't remember what this towel was beforehand. I wish I could kind of like look back and see what it was before. Um, but we're always crabbing, crying for more minerals. Um, energy, 
not so much, at least not right now. So I'm just going to say recover the mineral production. Um, I'm kind of confused because it didn't. Um, I guess we can always repair. Okay, that was easy. Hmm, I'm kind of confused by that. Is the old fact? Is the old factory just going to self-destruct again? <laughs> I don't even know. I don't know what to say about that. Um, I am going to build a temple right here, though. I thought it was supposed to give me a... Um, Special project. Boost our minerals for some reason, but I guess it... It lied. Or there's a glitch. Okay. Let's go with that. Cha 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 is pretty skilled. What is Cha Cha Cha? He's level four. Let's go ahead. Situation 100 minerals. updated. Hold on, let me pause this. Pause the Trump bombardment. Go to. And let's go with. Um, before we research these other ones, let me just. Um, Project. Okay. Let's do that. Hazardron bombardment. Hopefully, we get the bonus out of that one. But that's that's way out there. Actually, that's still in our space. Huh? I didn't realize that we um had this. Oh wow. System survey. That's complete. actually in our system too. So this actually um, having this here gives us a plus twenty five to our engineering. I didn't realize this was okay. Well, of course I didn't realize it because I didn't survey that yet. Um, but that's nice, actually. I'm not complaining about this at all. Our, our engineering research is way off the charts now. I'm just gonna get this alien tourism. Why not? So I'm just gonna shift and say let's build more research stations, more research stations, and then uh, mining stations. Evading of hostile fleet. Evading hostile fleet. Of course, I forgot about those guys over here. Special project complete. <laughs> this guy's doing way. Over, okay, well, over here, I gotcha. Well, I kind of regret that there's no, um... I really regret that there's no planets in this system. Not a single planet in this system. Because I wanted to colonize a planet in a nebula. That would have been kind of cool. I suppose in the future I can always create um, a ring world or something like that in the system, but... Let's see... United? Oh, okay, they're just getting free minerals from us. I got it. So that's, that's, well, 30 years have passed pretty quickly for those guys. System survey complete. So now we've got this uh, fleet of 1.3. It's not really that powerful of a fleet. That's close to our naval capacity. What I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to start dragging my few naval capacity thing. I'm just going to upgrade these guys as far as I can. So one, two, three. Um, wow. I will take that back. Um, I'm going to start with this basic um, one. Actually, have a space for on this one, and this probably doesn't have one either. So there we go. It would be nice if I had spaceports on these other systems, that would help um, with their naval capacity and being able to actually be a force to be reckoned with. Hmm. And let's 
see, I'm just gonna upgrade this, upgrade this. Um, he's gonna be able to get that next, okay. And some more energy, so let's do that one. And then improve the farm, improve this farm. Keep getting minerals in, but I'm just gonna keep upgrading these mining stations until we um, we max out on minerals. So, oh, okay, almost there. Wow, must take a lot of um, must take like 120 minerals to upgrade these uh, mining stations. If I colonize this planet, then it would give me all of this, uh, and I would love that actually. It, that would. Um, why don't I get this um, habitability? 13 months. Then I'll be able to um, consider. I'm going to consider that as an option. Um, that'll give us more of this gas too. Um, not that that'll help us too much. Um, but this is actually really. It'll be cool to have this bit of space right here. Have this physics research. Have because I wanted to do that before, but I, I didn't. Um, for reasons. Wow. And that kind of comes, uh, brings this episode to a near close here. Um, I don't complete. feel like I accomplished too much. Um, let's see, what are we going to research next? Um, let's just research again. I, I didn't get that before, um, but I've got my, my ships are out there uh, automatically exploring. And there's so much to automatically explore that. Um, I uh, really don't uh, think I'm going to be doing assist research for quite some time, so I'm just going to kind of let that one fly. Um, it will boost our happiness on the planet, but um, again, like there's so much of the galaxy that we haven't even come close to exploring yet um, that I'm not going to be doing assist research for, um, I mean, for quite some time. Look at this, all of this, I still haven't even sent a ship out to look at. So, uh, that's, this research is just going to have to wait. Power plant 5 and 4. Um, I could definitely do that. That'll bump up our research. Um, I'm not going to research try about our power. Basic combat roles. I should go that route. Um, that would increase um, all of our ship's um, fleet power. And just make them more formidable in combat. <sighs> but let's just go with power plants. Um, just so I can... I mean, we've, we're doing really good on energy. Um, speaking of which, I told myself I was going to... Um, okay, this is maxed out. Look at that, 20. So our uh, our engineering research is off the chain now. And I'm going to bump that up by um, going to these... Uh, I'm going to find a curio that's close. Is that I'm just find the closest curator I possibly can are these guys in this black hole. All right, so these are. Which one is this? Sigma. Okay. So can you aid us in our research? Yep. How much is it going to cost? One thousand energy. That's uh, not that expensive, considering how much we have. And so that's going to bump up our research. A nice little chunk. So, yeah. But that's this episode. Um, next episode, we will. Eh, I don't know. We'll be trying something. We'll be trying to um, get more minerals again. And um, I've got to do something about my fleet power because I feel like um, I was really excited about making a federation, but now um, it doesn't seem like that's going to be a possibility. Research at complete. least for now, not until something changes um, with these guys. Construction complete. Uh, we've got to reduce the distance between us and them. We have to increase the power of our, um, our of our navy. Um, we've had to do a lot of things, Anomaly I guess, to sort of build the relationship. What would help us, and what will help us, um, is when we finally clear out this um, this last thing right here. Um, and this is going to take us some time. It's going to take us 46 months. So it's going to take us a little over, um, almost four years, um, 
um, almost four years, yeah. And then we'll be able to um, increase, um, let's see, let's see, I'm stopping. Increase the, the trust cap by 50. Um, so we'll be at like maybe like maybe maybe increasing our their opinion of us. Um, their opinion, their, increasing their trust of us will improve their opinion, make us very friendly with them, um, make it easy for them to just kind of want to do more um, as a, as a as a partner. Um, explosive damage increased. That would be nice if we had that. Um, but we're gonna go with the. Uh, Cruiser, and this is nice. See, this is gonna only take 13 Special months now. Complete. So try to complete, but um, yeah. So we're killing it on engineering research, um, especially with this um, situation log. Especially updated. with this going here and this going. Well, this is going here especially. Wow, look at the, wow! I didn't realize what this is. This is mm -hmm. gonna give us 11 minerals. Oh my goodness! What? This is incredible. I um I did not realize that it was gonna do that. This is uh this is a dream come true, really. This is uh this is the system that keeps on giving. System survey. That is uh that is insane. That is just uh insane amount of minerals so this is uh, this is really helpful this is really exciting um i am so glad that i found the cybrex because they gave us so much that one little thing has built us up so much i mean i can actually colonize this alpine world too um over here uh and kind of i can move our territory this way in addition to moving it from this direction um and i can maybe like even I could create a, um, a sector from this direction. In fact, I might do that. I might colonize one of these worlds over here, then a world over here, and start working on sectors, because this is a size 20 world. Um, this is a size 24 world. This is a size 15 and a size 10 world. System um, survey. We actually got more going for us over here than we do near our capital. And look at this. Look at this. We can colonize two of these worlds. We can colonize this alpine world, size 15, size 14, this desert world. Uh, well, I mean, it's, it's 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 like maybe 40 habitability, but it's it's still. Uh, uh, I might just go on a colonizing spree. Now that I think about it, I might just decide. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna colonize this world and this world and this world and this world and. This world and build like four um, four colony ships at the same time and then just colonize all of this um, and then just have that territory move it in this direction have this territory move it in this direction um, because we're doing well in our research we're doing really well in our research and it's not like we're gonna get hurt on expansion at this point um, I mean, it hurts to expand too fast, but once you start to call it, like, once you start to um, dominate other species, System take their territory, your, your your research starts to worry anyway. So your research starts to um, slow down. So um, I definitely feel like I should take that approach. I should start to um, just start to just mass colonize systems before. What's this discovery? Okay, before my neighbors start getting the same idea, before these guys start to stretch out too far this direction, because, yeah, these guys have this space, whoever they are, um, and we, we want to kind of take all of this. And then if, as we take all of this, um, our range over here will also kind of stretch out too, um, as far as the, our, our border range, so... Um, Again, look at all this green. Look at all that green, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it's, 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 uh, it is a good day to uh, decide to start expanding. But anyway, until next time, you all have a wonderful day, and God be with you.